this is my presentation, The Workplace of the Future. I'm excited about change and about changing as a clinician, but I know that many, many clinicians aren't. But the fact is that we've got to change, and Dave's presentation set me up very nicely for my presentation. We've got to think about, it's not where you go to work, it's what you're doing within that workspace. So recently I won a challenge prize, NHS challenge prize, for this bid, Workplace of the Future. And can you see there, it's about being patient-centric. I had a comment the other day about someone afraid they're going to lose their job because of technology. Wrong. Get the patient in your mind, and we are in a time of change using technology. And around the patients these days, we've got this technology level. And therefore, if we use technology clinically, we can then start to use apps. So if we fill from Appetize, if you want to know how to build apps, go to fill. If you want to know uh, the quality apps that are out there, please go to the Orca stall, because they will tell you, there they are back there, about the quality apps that we need to use. But if you look here, remote assessment, we also need to look at remote assessments. Now, I'm going to tell you about mine, teleswallowing, but it's not the only one. We've got Steve here from Helios, which is a superb mental health uh, remote access tool. Please talk to him. It's beautiful. Hopefully, we're going to get it at Blackpool. Um, and also, we need to link ourselves together as clinicians. And so, on the other side, we need to use technology, such as WebEx, etc., to link ourselves and share ideas. So my particular problem was in speech and language therapy that we've got an ageing population. We've got people resident in nursing homes and we've got too few people, clinicians, able to go out and help them. So um, swallowing difficulties, you probably know this, um, they obviously underline all sorts of different health issues and you've got to be able to eat and drink properly to support yourself nutritionally. So... I was thinking about what we could do, but the thinking part's easy. You've got to do something about it. You've got to create something different. Alison uh, Marshall, thank you for this slide. It's saying that we're very easy at status quo, but we need to change. And now's the time to help to do that because we've got the systems and also we've got the five-year forward view telling us to change. So what is tele-swallowing? Well, it's, this is what it is, and we're going to have a video just to show you exactly... Um, how it's used. A couple of years ago, I had a, a challenge in that we have patients in nursing homes who require swallowing assessments, and there are not enough therapists to see those patients. I thought that perhaps we could use technology to assess those patients. We use um, tele-swallowing as part of the normal service delivery for patients in the community uh, with dysphagias. Those people have swallowing problems at all levels, uh, one of which um, is called pharyngeal dysphagia and that can be life-threatening. We've worked in collaboration with our colleagues in the nursing homes to be able to access those patients more rapidly um, and try to help them before they deteriorate too far and have to be brought into hospital. The patient has much um, speedier access to speech therapy intervention. I can do a full assessment and um, make the recommendations there and then. We could see the patients very clearly and we could zoom into the mouth and to the oral cavity for vital for our assessment. It increased speech and language therapy capacity. It increased their productivity. By doing the assessment with technology, we've actually uh, reduced our assessment time to 30 minutes. We've outsourced the preparation. And what we do now as speech and language therapists is that we focus on our core skills. We can then deflect that time, dispensing more intensive therapy for people on the stroke unit. So the teleswallowing trial has been successful. Not only does this project deliver a modern approach to swallowing assessment, it also can deliver potentially huge cost efficiencies. Polycom helps us to defy distance between our patients and the therapy services. Great, okay, so using partners, part of the five-year forward view, we used Emerger, go and see them at the back of the room, they're healthcare providers, they're award winners, and when you as a clinician want to change, you need partners to help you with that. 
So with teleswallowing, there's loads and loads of benefits, cost benefits, efficiency benefits, savings galore. I've got all the um, uh, evaluation tools that you could want, loads and loads of that. Okay, Whatever you want, it can provide it for you. Um, and thank you to the Innovation Agency for funding us to roll this process out in Cheshire as well. So not just Blackpool, in Cheshire as well. So just concluding, look, as clinicians, we know that we've got all of these tools in our handbags or man bags, but they've got them as well. And as Dave was saying, we've got to be smart in the use of tech and not exclude people. So if we go back to that, this is a consolidation of all my ideas. Please have it. Please talk to me about this. And it's not just about speech therapy. Look, at Blackpool, we're doing all sorts of things in different ways to try and reach people. Helios is a beautiful tool to use with mental health services. It can save you a lot of money and it's elegant. But also, Celeste, I don't think we've got time to run the Celeste video. Have we? Mm, might come back to that then. Celeste is the most lovely online physio tool. It helps you to prescribe um, exercises so you can get on with the next patient. Have a look at it. Uh, we might come back to that. But look, I've just started a conversation in my field, but I'm spreading out now to other professions. And we can go from that, you know, one-to-one, -to, -one, to using something like that, to actually then have a combination so that we as a clinician drive this for our patients. But we've got to have hearts and minds involved in that. This is the final slide. We'll go back to the, um, the video now. It's just saying that, look, I've aged, obviously, but I'm still excited, and I want you to keep excited. And we'll just run that video. <laughs> Roll the video. We're Future Proofing Our Service here in Lanarkshire by creating capacity where possible by using the full skill sets of all of our workers, including our healthcare support workers, so that they can take a more autonomous role. The way that physiotherapy is being delivered is changing, with an emphasis on people taking control of their health and managing their own conditions actively. Since we started the test of change using Salasso's technology, our throughput is definitely much higher and we're seeing definite capacity gains in that. After an initial assessment, our professional staff can create and upload patient-specific exercise programmes with set goals identified using Salasso's web-based platform. The exercise videos are very clear and easy to follow, particularly for our elderly population who may have cognitive issues. Our healthcare support worker is then able to take a tablet uploaded with several patients' programmes and go through the exercise regime with the patients in their own home. The healthcare support worker can input the relevant data to monitor progress and download this on return to base. I really found the videos on the iPad extremely helpful. I also found it particularly helpful to get the pace. My own instinct had been to do it a bit faster than that. It enabled me to emulate it by doing them with the video and the iPad was relatively easy to use once I've been through it a couple of times. If the patient has access to a web-enabled device, the programme can be accessed directly by the patient and they can track their own progress towards their goals. With the physiotherapist only checking in remotely, and progressing or changing the programme if necessary. We're finding many benefits from using the Salasso software. Firstly, it's allowing us to see our patients for a longer period of time than we may have done in the past. We're able to keep them on for sometimes months rather than only weeks because we're able to phone up with follow-up phone calls and emails to progress their treatment rather than, than having to do home visits. So we are really finding a real cost saving with this. Patients themselves are enjoying using Salasso. They find it easy to use after initial instruction. They enjoy being able to record the number of times they're carrying out treatments and to log how they're feeling that day and their different pain levels. And I think they're enjoying interacting with us in a, in a different way in which they've done in the past. I have found it extremely, extremely helpful.